Everyone, please show your appreciation for our wonderful MC, Dave Zarin. <laughs> Dave has been a longtime supporter of the National Science School. To all of our students, coaches, parents, alumni, staff, and volunteers, welcome to the final round of the 2023 Department of Energy National Science Bowl. We want to particularly welcome the 115 teams here, every one of whom earned their way to the national finals. You all won your regionals, and you're all among the top teams in the country in middle and high school. You should be very proud and congratulate you all. This morning, we have the final rounds of both the middle school competition and the high school competition, meaning we are down to the top two middle school teams and the top two high school teams. We'll begin this morning with the middle school finals, and let's start by welcoming the teams to the stage. First, the winners of the Northeast Regional Science Bowl at MIT, coming into this morning with just one loss in double elimination, representing Lexington, Massachusetts, and our team B for this final, please welcome to the stage Jonas Clark Middle School. Adam, Tarion, Atticus, Zach, Luca, please take your place on the stage. Jonas Clark are coached by Sarah Caius. Coach Caius, please stand to be recognized and thank you for guiding the team. Next, the winners of the Bonneville Power Administration Regional Science Bowl with no loss in double elimination, representing Bellevue, Washington, and our Team A for this final, please welcome to the stage Basis Independent Bellevue. <laughs> Kevin, Catherine, David, Timothy, Gordon, please take your place on the stage. Bases are coached by parent coaches Li Ping Ke and Ning Wu. Coaches, please stand to be recognized. Thank you for guiding the team. Before we meet our competitors for this round, I'd like to ask the officials to introduce themselves. When I call on you, please tell us your name and a little bit about your current position and background. We'll start with the moderators. We have three moderators this morning, myself, Anna Matthews, Anna Lauer, and Phelan McGowan. For the first round, I'll be reading the toss-up questions and non-visual bonus questions. Anna will be reading the visual bonus questions, and Phelan will be recognizing you when you buzz in on a toss-up question. So again, I'm Adam Matthews. I'm a Science Bowl alum. Uh, I competed here for Punahou School from Honolulu, Hawaii in 95 and 97. I did my undergraduate degree in biochemistry at Harvard College, a PhD in immunology at Harvard Medical School, and I currently teach biology and biochemistry at Wellesley College in Wellesley, Massachusetts. Anna? Good morning, everyone. My name is Lieutenant Anna Lauer, and I was born in Medellin, Colombia, but competed for Parkview High School in Lilburn, Georgia. I attended MIT, where I got my Bachelor's of Science, and proceeded to Dartmouth to get my PhD in Immunology and Microbiology. I'm a US Public Health Service officer stationed at the CDC, and I'm a trained microbiologist. Phelan. Um, congratulations, teams. My name is Phelan McGowan, and I have a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering from University College Dublin in Ireland. I have a PhD in biomedical engineering from Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, Maryland. And I'm currently an associate professor of biomedical engineering uh, at Johns Hopkins and a researcher at the Institute for Computational Medicine. Dean Jens. My name is Dean Jens. I competed at National Science Bowl uh, from Ankeny, Iowa in 1992 and 1993. I have a bachelor's degree in math from the University of Chicago, a master's degree in physics from Princeton University. I have a PhD in economics from Rutgers University. I am now an assistant professor in economics at the University of Central Florida. I will be a question judge, so I will just be ha handling appeals. Thank you, Dean. Our timekeeper today is Deb Samuelson. Deb, could you please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Deb Samuelson from the Ames National Laboratory in Ames, Iowa, located on the Iowa State University campus. And uh, we are host to the middle school and high school science bowls for the um, Iowa Regional. And I'll be your timekeeper. Thank you. Our scorekeeper today is Rhonda Bell. Rhonda? Good morning. My name is Rhonda Bell. I received my bachelor's from Hampton University and master's from Virginia Tech and I am a science education administrator at Thomas Jefferson National Lab. We coordinate the Virginia Regional for Science Bowl. I'll be your scorekeeper. 
Thank you. And our lead rule judge today is Manon Fleming. Manon, please introduce yourself. Good morning, my name is Manon Fleming. I am a project manager at the Oak Ridge Institute for Science and Education, and I will be the lead rules judge for you this morning. Thank you, and we have two stage judges today, uh, Amanda Horn and Brandon Pope. Amanda, please introduce yourself. Good morning, my name is Amanda Horn, and I have a bachelor's degree in biology and education from Stonehill College. And I have a PhD in curriculum instruction in the science of learning from the University at Buffalo. And I work for Brookhaven National Laboratory. And I coordinate the Long Island Regionals. Thank you. And Brandon. Good morning, everyone. My name is Brandon Pope. I have an animal science degree, a bachelor's from Tuskegee University, and a master's of science education from the University of Illinois at Chicago. I'm a student education outreach coordinator at Argonne National Laboratory. And I'm also uh, happy to be here. Thank you very much. Uh Those are the officials for these final rounds, but none of this would be possible without the huge number of staff and volunteers working all week and indeed all year to make the National Science Bowl what it is. So please join us in thanking all those here and at regionals and semifinals that made this possible. And now on to the competitors. Competitors, please take your seats. We're gonna ask the students to introduce themselves and test the buzzers at this time. Okay. So we're gonna start with my left, with A3. We're gonna proceed across the stage. As we do, we're gonna ask you to please buzz in, oh. wait to be recognized by Phelan, and then tell us your name, your grade, and your favorite branch of science. Start with A3, please. A3. My name is Gordon, I'm in seventh grade, and my favorite field of science is physics. Thank you. A2. Uh, my name is Kathy. I'm in grade seven, and my favorite branch of science is math. Thank you. A captain. Uh, my name is Kevin. My, I am in seventh grade, and my favorite branch of science is biology. Thank you. A1. Uh, my name is Timothy. I'm in seventh grade. My favorite subject is earth science. Great. B1. My name is Zach Zhang. I'm in eighth grade, and my favorite branch of science is rocks and minerals. B captain. My name is Tarun Venkatesh. I'm in eighth grade, and my favorite branch of science is biology. Thank you. B2. My name is Adam G. I'm in eighth grade, and my favorite branch of science is math. Thank you. B3. My name is Atticus Oliver. I'm in eighth grade, and my favorite branch of science is chemistry. Wonderful. Thank you all very much. So this is the middle school double elimination round 10. Jonas Clark has one loss in DE. Basis has no losses yet. Therefore, if Basis wins this round, then they will be the National Science Bowl champions. Yes. If Jonas Clark wins this round, we will proceed to one more round, round 11, to decide the champions. Each round today will consist of two 12-minute halves. Dang. For, for non-visual bonus questions, you'll have 20 seconds to answer. And for visual bonus questions, you'll have 30 seconds to answer. Both teams will be able to see the images for the visual bonus questions on screens in their tables. For the audience, the images will appear on the screens around the room. Audience, we know you'll be rooting for our teams, but please be respectful. Make sure you turn off all electronic devices. Be, please be silent during the round. And to help with that, let's make sure you've worked out all your cheering. And one more time, as loud as you like, please congratulate our top two middle school teams. All right, we are ready to get started. Team A and B, do you have any questions or clarifications before we begin today? Teams ready? Officials ready? Let's begin. Best of luck to both teams. We'll start with a toss-up for both teams. This is middle school double elimination round number 10. Our first question is a toss-up in math, and it is short answer. What is the name of the regular polyhedron that has vertices that are the centers of the faces of a cube? B2. Octahedron. That is correct. And your bonus question will be visual. Math short answer. A grasshopper is sitting on a circle seven. It jumps from one circle to the next as indicated and makes moves of two types. If it is sitting on an odd numbered circle, it moves by one jump. 
And if it is sitting on an even-numbered circle, it moves, moves by two jumps. What is the number of the circle upon which it will be sitting after 2,023 moves? So every two moves it goes three spots. So three times 1,011, and then it goes one spot. So it should go 3,034 minus, uh, and then we have to mod seven. So 234, 24, three. It should be on spot three. Three. Five seconds? Three. I'm sorry, that is not correct. It is four. Our next question is a toss up in energy and is multiple choice. Scientists at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory have employed a new sensitive dark matter detector. Which of the following is closest to the estimated percentage of the universe's mass energy that is dark matter? W1, X27. Why interrupt? A, Captain. X. X is correct. Your bonus question will be in energy. Short answer. Scientists at the National Renewable Energy Lab are studying wind turbines. According to Betz's law, no wind turbine can capture more than what fraction of the kinetic energy in the wind? Thirty-six percent. No, I'm sorry. It's sixteen twenty-sevenths. Toss a question number three is for both teams in chemistry, and it is short answer. What is the equilibrium constant expression for the reaction two Fe solid plus three H two O gas yields Fe two O three solid plus three H two gas? B three single replacement. Sorry, that is not correct. A, Captain. Acid base. No, I'm sorry, the answer was H2 cubed divided by H2O cubed. Our next question is a toss up in Earth and space, and it is multiple choice. A large anomaly in iridium concentration is associated with which major extinction event? W, end Permian, X, late Devonian, Y, Cretaceous Paleogene, Z, Ordovician Silurian. Hey, Captain. Why? Why is correct. And your bonus question will be visual. Earth and space, short answer. The image shown is an estimate of global biomass, with green representing above ground biomass and brown representing soil organic carbon. Answer the following two questions. One, what major biome contains the largest proportion of above ground biomass? Two, what ground feature is responsible for the large accumulation of soil organic carbon on the right? It's like, which biome is the largest percent? Like what what, what the second question? Responsible of... What, what is it responsible of? What is the second question? <laughs> what is the second question? Five seconds. Uh, one swamps to uh, something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that is not correct. The first one was a tropical rainforest, and the feature is permafrost. Our next question is a toss in biology, and it is short answer. When metabolized for energy, ketogenic amino acids are degraded into what two carbon intermediate used in the citric acid cycle? B, Captain. Acetyl-CoA. Is correct. And your bonus question will be visual. Biology short answer. Match the displayed four flowers to the most likely of the following four animals that would pollinate them. One, moths. Two, bats. Three, birds. Four, flies. I might be B. Five seconds. One is C, two is B, three is A. 
and four is D. That is correct. <gasps> Toss a question number six will be in physics, short answer. What law states that the rate at which an object cools is proportional to the temperature difference with its surroundings? B3. Charles's law? I'm sorry, that is not correct. Time. The answer was Newton's law of cooling. Toss at number seven is an earth and space multiple choice. Sputnik planum on Pluto consists of convection cells of ice composed primarily of which of the following molecules? W, dioxygen. X, dinitrogen. Interrupt. A, hey, Captain. X. Is correct. And your earth and space bonus question will be multiple choice. Consider a hypothetical earthquake with an epicenter on Earth's geographic south pole. Which of the following statements does not correctly describe the seismic waves observers at other locations would detect? W, an observer at the North Pole would detect P waves, but not S waves. X, an observer at the equator would detect both P waves and S waves. Y, an observer on the Tropic of Capricorn would detect S waves, but not P waves. Z, an observer on the Tropic of Cancer would detect neither P waves nor S waves. It was wrong, not true. It was not true. Not true? Yeah, not true. It was not true. You sure? W was P waves, but not S waves. Yeah. But then it's both. Other than S waves, not P waves, then none. Y. Is correct. Toss up number eight, biology multiple choice. Omega-3 fatty acids are so named after the presence of which of the following features starting at the third carbon from the end of the molecule? W, double bond. X, triple bond. Y, amino group. Z, hydroxyl group. Interrupt. A, Captain. W. Is correct. And your bonus question will be visual. Biology short answer. The images depict the evolution of jaw bones within synapsids. What is the name of the modern bone labeled with the letter X, which evolved from the articular bone? Five seconds. Angus. I'm sorry, that is not correct. It is the malleus. All right, our next question is a toss up in chemistry and is multiple choice. Which of the following is closest to the mass in grams of one atomic mass unit? W, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 26. X, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 25. Y, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 24. Z, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 23. B3. W. I'm sorry, that is not correct. A, Captain. Y. Y is correct. And your chemistry bonus question will be short answer. Rank the following three transition metals in order of increasing melting point. One, zinc. Two, mercury. Three, cadmium. Increase. No, I'm sorry, it's two, three, one. Our next question is number 10, it's a toss in physics, multiple choice. In a demonstration of the photoelectric effect, the kinetic energy of the ejected electrons depends most strongly on what? W, the frequency of the incident light. X, interrupt. Hey, Captain. W. W it is. An your bonus question in physics will be short answer. The entropy of a system is equal to the logarithm of the number of accessible microstates multiplied by what physical constant? Boltzmann's constant. That is correct. Toss at number 11 is in math, and it is short answer. What are the coordinates of the center of the circle with equation x squared minus 8x plus y squared plus 10y minus 36 equals 0? B2. 3 halves comma negative 5. I'm sorry, that's not correct. A, 
Hey, Captain. Four, five. No, I'm sorry, it's four comma negative five. Toss at number 12 is an energy multiple choice. Scientists supported by the Department of Energy are studying lignin. This material is especially important in the formation of what part of plants? W, xylem. Ec interrupt. Hey, Captain. W. I'm sorry, that is not correct. I'll repeat for team B. Toss up, energy, multiple choice. Scientists supported by the Department of Energy are studying lignin. This material is especially important in the formation of what part of plants? W, xylem. X, phloem. Y, wood. Z, mesophyll. B, Captain. Y. Wood is correct. And your bonus question will be visual. Energy multiple choice. Shown in the image is an illustration of data collected by a recent experiment conducted by scientists at Pacific Northwest National Lab studying DNA virus activity in wet and dry soil. Based on the data in the image, what statistical tests did they perform to support the conclusion that mean DNA viral activity in wet soil samples is greater than that in dry soil samples? W, T test. X, Shapiro-Wilkes test. Y, binomial test of proportions. Z, chi-squared test. I understand a single word. Oh, I thought He doesn't think it's W. Okay. Okay, I'll take it. Why? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It was W, T test. And that's the half. That brings us to the half. The score is Jesus, 44. Jonas Clark, 26. We'll take a two minute break. All right, if everyone could please take your seats. Please take your seats and we'll continue with the competition. Thank you very much. So we've gone through 12 questions in the first half. Uh, before we resume, Team A, do we have any substitutions at the half? A1. Uh, David, seventh grade. And your favorite area of science? Uh, physics. Thank you. Team B, substitutions at the half? B1. Uh, I'm Luca, I'm in eighth grade, and I like astronomy. Thank you very much. All right, so we have a great match going. Again, audience, please silence any devices if you turn them on during the break. Please be respectful and quiet to the competitors. Um, team A, are you ready to go? Team B, are you guys good? Well, and best of luck to both teams. We will pick up our competition with toss-up number 13, which will be in chemistry, multiple choice. Consider the gas phase reaction, N2 plus 3H2 yields 2NH3. What would be the effect on equilibrium if you decrease the volume of the closed reaction vessel at constant temperature? W, the equilibrium constant would increase. X, the equilibrium, the equilibrium would shift to the left. Y, the equilibrium would shift to the right. Z, the equilibrium would not be affected. B3. Y. Y is correct. And your bonus question will be visual. Chemistry short answer. Shown in the image are several hydrogen atomic orbitals. Answer the following two questions regarding the image. One, which letter corresponds to a P orbital? Two, how many nodal planes does the orbital labeled D have? One is B, two is eight. I'm sorry, that is not correct. One is B, but two was three. Toss up number 14 is in physics, short answer. A 25 kilogram box slides across a horizontal surface with an initial speed of four meters per second and experiences a constant frictional force of 20 newtons. In meters, how far does the box slide before coming to a stop? Time. The correct answer was 10. Our next question is a toss-up in math and is multiple choice. 
A figure and its reflection are drawn on the plane, and several points of the original figure are labeled along with their corresponding image points. The line of reflection can be located using W, one perpendicular bisector, X, two perpendicular interrupt, B2, one perpendicular bisector. I'm sorry, that's not correct. I'll repeat the question for team A, toss up, math, multiple choice. A figure and its reflection are drawn on the plane, and several points of the original figure are labeled along with their corresponding image points. The line of reflection can be located using W, one perpendicular bisector, X, two perpendicular bisectors, Y, two parallel lines, Z, two circles. A, Captain. Z? No, I'm sorry, it's W, one perpendicular bisector. Toss the question number 16 is in energy, multiple choice. Scientists supported by the Department of Energy are studying protein kinase C. This enzyme is primarily involved in what? W, cellular respiration. X, cellular signaling. Interrupt. A, Captain. X. Is correct. And your bonus question will be visual. Energy short answer. Scientists supported by the Department of Energy are studying the conductive material shown in the image, which can be produced by peeling a monolayer off graphite. Answer the following two questions regarding this material. One, what element is this material composed of? Two, what is the hybridization state of the atoms in this material? What is one carbon two sp2? That is correct. Our next question is a toss in biology, and it is multiple choice. Common antifungal medications inhibit the production of ergosterol, a compound that serves a similar purpose to cholesterol in, in animals. Which of the following cellular structures will be most directly affected by a deficiency in ergosterol? W, ribosome. X, cell wall. Interrupt. B, Captain. Cell membrane. I'm sorry, that's not correct. I'll repeat for team A, toss up biology, multiple choice. Common antifungal medications inhibit the production of ergosterol, a compound that serves a similar purpose to cholesterol in animals. Which of the following cellular structures will be most directly affected by a deficiency in ergosterol? W, ribosome, X, cell wall, Y, plasma membrane, Z, nucleolus. A, Captain. Y. Y is correct. And your bonus question in biology is multiple choice. Doug's investigating new drug regimens to treat HIV and has noticed that many efficacious combinations contain analogs of both a pyrimidine and a purine. If one of the medications in his proposed combination is lamivudine, a cytosine derivative, then, according to this heuristic, which of the following medications would complement it? W, dideoxycytidine. X, dideoxyinosine. Y, azitothymidine. Z, amtricitabine. Five seconds. X. X is correct. Toss number 18 is in Earth and space. Short answer. The lowest elevation on Mars is found in what major surface feature? B1. Valles Marineris. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Time. The correct was, the answer was the Hellas Basin. Toss of number 19 is in math, short answer. Evaluate the following numerical expression. 48 divided by eight, open parenthesis, four minus two, close parenthesis. A, Captain. 12. Is correct. And your bonus in math is short answer. A square jigsaw puzzle consists of pieces that are all squares with sides of length three, except that interior sides of the pieces have equilateral triangles with sides of length one, either missing or added, so that the pieces interlock. Given that pieces may be rotated but not turned over, how many different shapes of pieces that have four interior sides are possible? Okay. Yes. Easy. I did 
to understand. Five seconds. Time. The correct answer was six. Toss it number 20 for both teams. Physics, short answer. Historically, the SI system used 273.16 kelvins as a standard temperature to define the kelvin. What property of water does this temperature correspond to? P3. Freezing point. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Hey, Captain. Melting point? No, I'm sorry, it's the triple point. Toss of number 21 is in chemistry, short answer. The interaction energy of a two molecule static dipole static interaction is proportional to distance. Sorry, I'll reread the question. Toss up chemistry, short answer. The interaction energy of a two molecule static dipole static dipole interaction is proportional to distance raised to what power? Hey, Captain. Two. I'm sorry, that's not correct. B3. Negative two. No, I'm sorry, it's negative three. <coughs> Our next question is a toss in biology, multiple choice. A clade represents which of the following types of phylogenetic groupings? W, monophyletic. X, interrupt. A, Captain. W. Is correct. And your bonus in biology is short answer. How many hydrogen atoms are present in one molecule of maltotriose, a trisaccharide composed of three molecules of glucose? Just like 36 seconds. 36 minus 2 is 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. Scientists at Oak Ridge National Lab are studying the Higgs boson. Identify all of the following three statements that are true of this particle. One, it has zero spin. Two, it has zero electric charge. Three, it has zero color charge. B3. Two only. I'm sorry, that's not correct. A3. One, two. No, I'm sorry, it's all of them. Our next question is toss 24. It's in Earth and space and is multiple choice. Herbig Harrow projects are thought to be associated with what? Sorry. I'll repeat the question. Toss up Earth and space, multiple choice. Herbig Harrow objects are thought to be associated with what? W, newborn stars. X, emission nebulae. Y, supernova remnants. Z, black holes. B1. Y. No, I'm sorry, that's not correct. A, Captain. X. No, it was W, newborn stars. And our last question is a toss-up in biology, short answer. Although uncomfortable, it is possible to swallow food while upside down. This is possible due to what rhythmic action that characterizes the motion of the esophagus? A, Captain. Peristalsis. Sorry, it's not correct. B1. Peristalsis. Is correct. And your bonus question in biology is short answer. The main product of the Calvin cycle is glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, or G3P. If this molecule is directly used to generate energy via glycolysis, how many net ATP are produced when one molecule of G3P is converted to one molecule of pyruvate? One. I'm sorry, the correct answer was two. That brings us to the end of the round. We've gone through all the questions. <laughs> Final score is Basis Independent Bellevue Middle School, 98. Jonas Clark Middle School, 34. Um, which means that Basis Independent Bellevue is our 2023 National Science School Middle School champion. Let's congratulate Basin Independent Bellevue, um, but also Jonas Clark for coming in second. Congratulations to both teams. We'll now take a two-minute break while getting set up for the high school competition.